Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, I have another golf ball review for you today, and we are doing our Mizuno line, continuing on with it with the X model today, brand new for the 23 season. Let's dive in. And once again, guys, I do want to thank Craftsman Golf. Uh, they are sponsoring this video as well. And if you need any accessories, any new stuff for the new season upcoming, check them out. They have great head covers. They have uh, putter covers. I actually just, they sent me some stuff. I updated my, uh, my, my whole setup. It looks fantastic. I even got this really awesome polo. They now sell polos too. So if you need some new updated gear, be sure to check them out. I have a link in the description below. All right, so listen, we did the Mizuno Tour Golf Ball, and I was disappointed. Being such a Mizuno fan, being a guy who loves Mizuno, being a guy who just, I, I refitted all my clubs, really love what they do. Um, I was really hoping their golf balls this year would give me a reason to kind of maybe play them too, so I just have Mizuno throughout the whole bag. Uh, but unfortunately, if you saw the last review of the Mizuno Tour, uh, it didn't go so well. Uh, it did not perform that great. And the thing is, the X model is for a little bit faster swingers, so I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I had trouble compressing with the... 9 iron, the 7 iron, so that leads me to believe that this one might be a little worse. Uh, I hope that's not the case, but that's usually the case with the next golf ball. These come at a price point of $42.99 a dozen, which is pretty good for a Tour golf ball, um, but for a value Tour, that's kind of a little bit pricey right in that line. You've got the Tour Stripe, which is $42.99. You've got the Vice, which is $38. Um, you've got still the Cut DC at $29.99, which is becoming the, great, the, the best value I've seen because it's still remained at $29.99. Uh, so you have other options there. So it's, it's kind of, it's well priced depending on how you look at it. As far as compared to a Pro V1, it's greatly priced, but compared to some of the other direct-to-consumer balls, it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the design of the golf ball. Let's see what we got here. Now, like I mentioned in the tour, uh, they, this, these golf balls only have 272 dimples. Mizuno took a big swing here and did kind of a crazy design. Most golf balls have like 350, 400, uh, heck, even the Mizuno uh, two-piece line has 566. So, I mean, this has half of what their other one has. So definitely a big difference there. Um, as you can see from the design, there's a lot of big dimples. Definitely gives it a unique look. The Mizuno logo is there. It's a very great logo. I love it. And this one has a blue number on top to indicate that it is the X model. And then if you turn it over on the side, it says RB Tour X, which the alignment tool on the regular tour I did not like because of the Asymm asymmetry of it and uh, it just not being a thick enough line. This one's the same here. The font's different. I don't like how asymmetrical it is. And now they've added the X on the end of it. The X is blue. It's not a great alignment tool. And if you don't care about alignment tools, then it, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. But if you're someone like me who likes a good alignment tool, really helps you line your putter up, this one's not going to do you any favors, unfortunately. All right, so overall around uh, you know the design, I think they could have done a lot more. I think they really could have spent some time on the alignment tool. And again, we'll see how the dimple pattern affects the ball flight. Now with the tour, it affected it really well. I had great launch angles and I really loved how the ball was coming off the club as far as from an angle standpoint. So we'll see if that's the case here too. But let's get into the chipping and putting green and see how we did out there. All right, so on the green with the Mizuno Tour X, I gotta say I was really, really impressed. I expected this golf ball being an X golf ball to be firm, to be clicky and it's neither of those things. It's actually really soft. It has some sponginess to it. It really springs off the club and I could not believe the amount of checkup it had. It really checked up well and it was forgiving on the checkups as well. Even if I missed hit it a little bit, the ball still checked up for the most part and did kind of what I wanted it to do and I was still able to get it in the vicinity. Uh, having an X type of golf ball that does that is pretty rare actually. It's not usually something I have on the channel um, and I got to say that I was really impressed to see that out of this golf ball. It could be because this is only three layers opposed to a lot of X golf balls are four layers uh, but still having that type of feel around the green and having that type of forgiveness and spin it really just checked all the boxes and usually for an average swing golfer like me it doesn't and off the putter you know the Mizuno X didn't have the best level of forgiveness I didn't expect it to but I was kind of hoping since it was spongy but I will say that as far as the feel goes it's really phenomenal even though it's an X golf ball hitting it off of any type of mallet putter like this one uh, it feels pretty dead there's just a slight firm press it has a really 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 good feel that I think most golfers are going to really love. The ball travels a really long way. It doesn't take it a lot to get there, which is awesome. Off bladed putters, it's a little clickier. You'll hear that little bit of click there, and the forgiveness goes way, way, way down on a bladed putter. Um, it, 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 you lose about half the distance if it's mishit. So still, though, around the green, I'm just really impressed. I love how it felt off the putter. Everything, it rolled really well. It rolled true. The only thing was really that uh, alignment tool. I had trouble lining the golf ball up, and it really wasn't doing a lot of good. I just went back to lining up off spots off the green, and I did a lot better. So it was really kind of useless in that regard. But overall, a really good performance around the green from a golf ball that I really wasn't expecting too much from. 
Okay, so really good around the green, loved it. And again, really a lot of spin, a lot of checkup, which is awesome. Mizuno's kind of had a, a reputation for having really spinny golf balls. And uh, it's good to see that they're still doing a lot of spin and checkup, but they've added some forgiveness in there. That's awesome. Now, as far as the feel of this golf ball, when I tested the Tour on the last video, I talked about how it just really felt slow motion. It felt anti-gravity, like it was, it felt good, but it was coming off the club like, like, anti-gravity, like I was hitting it off the moon. Uh, not the case here. This one actually has some real speed behind it. You hit it and you feel it. It has a little bouncy ball effect to it. It really feels like I'm adding some power. You know, I feel like He-Man sometimes when I'm hitting it. So maybe these numbers actually will be better. I'm not sure how they could, but let's dive in. Getting into the nine iron, 94.5. Uh, that is that, that can't be right. Is it real? Not, that's real. Wow. Okay. So if you didn't see the last review, the regular tour only got 88.5. Um, it just didn't come off that hot. But like I said, this one's coming off a lot hotter. 94.5 is amazing. 133. That is fantastic. 127.3. Again, I, I'm gaining eight or nine yards with my nine iron. Um, and the fact that, that, the golf ball is carrying more. It actually carried eight yards further than my average, but it only went five yards total. So I must be getting some backspin. I must be getting something really good there. 24.4 on the launch. All those numbers are just really fantastic. That is a great way to start this golf ball out. Um, and I would not have guessed that. I, I would have bet the farm that this golf ball would have tested worse than the Tour because it's the X model. It's designed for higher swing speeds. You know, it's supposed to be, but you know, it doesn't surprise me completely because I did notice when I was doing a little bit of golf ball research for the video, I noticed that a lot of people were reviewing the X model. Golf, you know, monthly and golf this and, you know, all these articles you see from these these websites regardless. I saw the Tour X a lot and I didn't see the Tour a lot. And it really took some digging to find reviews of the Tour, but now it's kind of making sense. And maybe it's possible that Mizuno whiffed on the Tour and they just kind of had everybody hype up the X hoping to get through this season until next season, which could be a possibility. Getting into the seven iron, 6,656. That is a really, really healthy amount of spin. That's gonna definitely stop on a green. 107.2, that's above average. 162.5, above average. 151, above average. 18.9, so a mid-high, you know, close to mid uh, ball launch. Really good numbers there. Not as amazing, blow me away as the nine iron, but they're continuing the trek and it's it's above average. So that's still really good. Hopefully we can continue this above average train. Getting into the five hybrid, 43.17 on your spin. Really good spin there. Pretty much in line with the tour. Uh, 118.7, that is actually above my average and it's a little faster than the tour. 198.4. Uh, that's about six yards more than my average, so I love that. 184.4 and a 15.1 launch. So again, launch angle really good, really hitting the sweet spot. I love that. 14.2 is my average, so it's launching high. And anytime with a hybrid, you can launch it high, launch it far, and stick the green. That's everything you could ever want. I love it. So that's awesome. So we have one club left with the driver. Let's hope this one's really good. 29.61 with the spin, which is pretty much what the tour gave me. It's about 15 different. Uh, 254 on the driver total distance. That is a gain of 11 yards from my average. 137.5 mile an hour ball speed. That's about three mile per hour faster than my average. 233.5, that's an 11 yard difference from the average. And it launched 15.8, which is a very great high launch with the driver, which I've been trying to do that with my driver lately is get a little higher launch because I know I'll see the increase in distance based on my swing speed. Uh, 93 mile an hour swing speed is what I swing. I'm an average swinger. And listen, these numbers are really phenomenal. Um, I, would, I would have bet the farm and I would have lost it. I mean, I cannot believe that this is the first time on my channel I've ever had a tour golf ball test significantly less than an X golf ball. It's just never happened. And I think that's because usually the case is um, you know, the X golf models are, they're made for fast swingers. They're made for 110, 105. Um, but not the case here. I mean, I had fantastic results with the X. It almost feels like this is what the tour should have been. And the tour, the, the, the tour X should have been a little firmer than this. And it should have been really for faster swing speeds. I think they kind of goofed on that, or I don't know. I don't know what the marketing plan was, but if you're an average swing speed guy, the X is going to be where you're at. 
So real quick, before I get my closing thoughts in, I do want to talk about the durability. The other model, the Tour, had really, really good durability. It was darn near perfect. This one's the same. You can see the black scuffs again where I hit the bar. Um, I obviously need to move my mat closer or further away or something, but uh, it has some of those black lines. But as far as feeling the golf ball, there's no cuts, there's no scrapes, there's no, it's still going to roll true. It looks really good. You can still see that coating of urethane on the outside. Um, it really held together well. It really did a great job. It's not perfect by any means, but it's darn close to it. So I give it really high remarks. All right. So closing thoughts. Um, if there's a reason that this particular golf ball, the X model tested so well compared to the regular model, I don't know it. I don't understand it. I, I maybe Mizuno whiffed, maybe they plan for this. I, I, I'm not sure. All I know is that, uh, if you are an average swinger, if you're a fast swinger, uh, I would still go with the X. I don't really see a market for the tour at all. It doesn't make any sense. I, I, I can't see anybody buying it. Um, if you're swinging below 90 or you know 85 or something, there's other golf balls in the $30 price range, $25 price range that are going to be a lot better for you. So as far as needing a tour level golf ball that's going to give you the control you want, uh, the spin you want, the checkup, being able to you know hit it really well, I mean, you definitely need to be a lower handicap to use this golf ball, but I just can't see anyone in that regard using the tour. I'm going to recommend the X all the way. The X actually does get my seal of approval. I think it's a fantastic golf ball and I could see myself actually playing with this. Remember I said I, I was hoping that Mizuno would present something I could kind of play with and put in my bag. Um, I would definitely play with this golf ball. It, it had amazing numbers with the short irons. It spun really high. Um, nothing was below average. It really just increased all my averages. Um, the only thing was it'd be with the, the uh, alignment. That's really the only knock. And I'll tell you what, when you really think about it, with an amazing greenside performance and amazing durability and amazing performance numbers and a great price point, the only thing this golf ball was really missing was that alignment tool. And that's why I'm so snobby about it sometimes because that's all it would have took to be a perfect score. Anyway, all right guys, as always, keep watching to keep saving and keep learning. Until next time, I really appreciate it.